this is Brian, and if you're following along, this is our 11th Visual Basic tutorial. Today we're going to finish our tutorials on loops, and this is actually going to be a bit of a review. So just typed in xsint, and you might have noticed there's x int 16, int 32, and int 64. What are these? Well, that's 16-bit, 32-bit, and 64-bit. Really, general practice, unless you're doing a specialized programming, just stick with integer for now. Um, we may or may not cover those in other tutorials, but really it goes in line with your processor and what you can handle. Okay, so now we've got dim x is integer, and type while x less than 10, and there's end while. Well, this looks awfully familiar. This looks like our do loops, if you remember those, and to be honest, it does the exact same thing. So, let's just do x plus equal 1 uh, console dot right line and we'll say x run your work let's see what happens here and sure enough it does the exact same thing 1 through 10 why do we need all these loops well really you have to remember that Visual Basic has been around for a long time I personally remember programming in Visual Basic 2 uh, I remember when Visual Basic wasn't even called Visual Basic, um, and it's progressed through the years. It went up, you know, Visual Basic, you know, one, two, three, four, five, and then version six, and then it changed to the .NET framework, which is what you're using now. And more to the point, you're using, I think we're using in this tutorial version three, five, or four of the .NET framework. I'm pretty sure it's three, five. Um, that being said, it's it's grown through the years, and as it's grown, it's added more functionality. Now all these loops really do the same thing but it goes along with best practices and it's personal taste and style so use the one you feel comfortable with yes I'm sure I'll get some some fan mail saying wait a minute Brian you can only use this loop in this situation etc etc yes there are specific situations where you have to use a specific type of loop we won't be covering that in this tutorial or any other because they're very rare cases and in my own personal experience pretty much they all do the same thing all right, well, I thank you for watching. I hope you found this educational and entertaining, and stay tuned.